Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to <laughs> and I'm drunk episode. And this is our life. Okay, first of all, I want to say something about the new YouTube. I don't know what to call it. Okay, I don't even know quite how to find my messages and comments and things like that on YouTube anymore. So it's it's a chore. Okay, it's difficult. Yeah, I mean, you know, before it was easy to figure out. I mean, you know, there there, there it was right there. You know, comments. Or, or messages or whatever you know I could find it now I don't know what they did but I can't it's very difficult to find comments and messages on YouTube now and I had to just leave shit alone yeah I mean come on what does it hurt I mean yeah I mean things were fine and now Looks like it is stupid, you know. Yeah, it's like let's enhance YouTube by screwing it up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And so I've got a sleepy pussy cat. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, well, this is the first time in a few days we actually. <laughs> that's John. He's so tired. <laughs> I wish I could like. Zoom in, but I yeah, he's like well, his eyes were closed. <laughs> yeah, they're barely open. Yeah. He's like, oh. That socks. Socks. Socks eyes are barely open. Maggie's a nag. Yeah, that's Mama. Hey, Maggie. Say hello to everybody. That's lucky. That's my old keyboard. I, I replaced the keyboard because the O kept sticking, amongst other things. The B fell off. Yeah. I can guarantee you I don't need anything more to drink tonight. Oh, you sure you don't need a couple more? <laughs> <laughs> you might fall over. Yeah, I'm like, okay. That was... And I'm sure it hasn't taken full effect yet. That was three of these. I don't know how, how you're going to get up tomorrow. Well, the only reason I had something to drink tonight is because tomorrow we don't have anything to do. But no, we do have some. Oh gosh, we do have something to well, do. Well, you can just stay here and sleep. Okay. I don't need you to go turn the damn papers we have to turn papers into King uh, Health and Human Services. Health and Human Services. New Hampshire. New Hampshire Health and Human Services. And I need to charge this thing. So, now I don't, well, some people would say I drink a lot. I drink oh, a couple of times a month at most. Uh-oh, she's stuck. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think, yeah, call cool, cool. caught. Oh. Cat's stoop. Say it's bad when I get my claws caught and they can't get out. And they can't yeah. move. They're like, oh, i got to get over here, but... <laughs> okay, my wife has her medicine. I have my medicine. We were both pissed off this morning. Well, you dragged me out of the house without even letting me get a damn cup of coffee. I should have. Yeah, she should have slapped me. Head just for that. Yeah, she should have slapped me just because. I can't even have a cup of coffee. I mean, you know, I I don't drink coffee, but from what I understand, anybody that does deserves. They have a right to have their cup of maybe more than one cup of coffee. And so anyway, so. Anyway, it's, uh, I think it says 12.45 a.m., and I want to show you something. Now, my wife bought, my wife bought this and put it on my wrist, and it didn't stay there very long, but. It just barely fit. 
Yeah. They need like a man's thighs. It's a woman's. It's a breast wrist. cancer bracelet. And I have this. And look, let me tell you folks. Don't go. What was it? Target? Walmart. Walmart. Don't freaking go to Walmart and buy one of these. Well, I guess you can, but we got ours at Dartmouth Hitchcock in Lebanon. You're almost better off going online. That way, maybe the store supports the cancer society. Yeah, and let me tell you something. Um, I want to compare the American Cancer Society to the. I don't remember the name of it, the Alzheimer's something or something. The American Cancer Society, a lot of, I don't know the percentage of the money that's donated to them, how much goes to treatment and things like that, but part of it is paying for my wife's care. Okay, If it were not for the American Cancer Society, we would be in a whole heap of trouble right now. On the other hand, you have the Alzheimer's Association, or whatever they call it. And I think their whole purpose is to make money. They're not doing a blanking thing for my mother. They're not doing a blanking thing for me to take care of her, my uncle to take care of her. As for my sister, my sister can freaking go to hell because she refuses to take care of her. She refuses to have anything to do with any family members. And, and to Jimmy, if you ever show up at my door, I'm going to beat your ass to the ground. <laughs> there goes Maggie. Yeah, it's that time again. Maggie's starting. Yeah, she's being a nag. Yeah. And here's Socks over here. Well, her, she wa saw her mama go in the uh, kitchen, so she's watching her, but... She was asleep. She was asleep. And, um, yeah, so what I wanted to say was, yeah, you know, I freaking moved from Spain to the United States. For what? Now we're going through the same freaking stuff. The sad thing is, the people that... I can't speak for my wife. I can only speak for myself. But the keen activists, I'm more worried about them okay yes I am extremely worried about those at the national level but I'm more concerned I'm more concerned with the uh, this is Maggie you know she's not too friendly with all of you know I I mean look they keep track of what you say online not just the videos we make, but the comments we make on Facebook, the comments we make on Twitter. It's not their damn business. Yeah, the questions we ask on Yahoo. I'm like, come on, what kind of losers are you? Do you not have a life? Uh, we don't keep track of the you stuff you it. say. What? You just said it. Yeah, I'm like, gosh, what losers. Yeah, the NSA keeps keeps a, a record just like you do. But the 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 government of Keene doesn't keep that kind of record. The state of New Kerry, formerly known as New Hampshire, doesn't keep that kind of freaking record. Now I, I will okay, I, I guess I need to explain something. In Spain, when I was in Spain, was the 1960s. Franco died in 75. The sad thing is, Franco's death overshadowed the death of Eamon de Valera in Ireland. And personally, I like the way the United States has where you are not supposed to be able to be president unless you were born in the United States. And there is somebody who happens to be in the White House right now who. I honestly believe was not born in the United States, but regardless. Eamon de Valera was born in New York City, and he became Prime Minister of the Republic of Ireland. Later in life, he became uh, President. The President of the Irish Republic is a figurehead position, not an actual policy 
making position. But anyway, I don't know if I explained or not. So I'm drunk, so what? We got these free at Dartmouth Hitchcock in, in Lebanon. I was about to say King. We didn't get them free in King. No, you really get anything. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you folks, and, and ladies, and gals, whatever. The, from what I've seen of the, I don't know how you say, greater Lebanon area, you know, I think my wife would prefer to live closer to something that resembles a city because just because of the resources you have you know Keene has a Walmart barely yeah barely Lebanon has a Walmart they have a Super Kmart they have a strip what I call a strip which is like a main drag you know like restaurant stores you know, I think they have a Sewage, sewage system oh. problem. Oh my God! I forgot about that. Oh, oh God, that. that was bad, wasn't it? Damn. Um, I don't know what the problem is, but God, they need to do something about it. Yeah. It stinks. But the Literally. only, you know, the only problem is our housing voucher will does not cover. It's not so damn bad. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, I forgot about that until she just said that. No, like, yeah, it did. It was. Uh, it's kind of nasty. I don't know what the hell is going on, but they had a problem. Yeah. They're showing a Frisky's commercial. We give our cats anywhere from one to two cans of cat food a day. Otherwise, it's dry food. And Maggie's like, Excuse me, you giving well, she'll me. She'll eat it. But yeah, but she's like, Dry food? I want hand food. Cats rule. Humans oh, serve. Oh, please. She's not that bad about it, though. True. That's true. And just sometimes I think she gets really hungry for the canned yeah. food. It tastes like, actually tastes like meat, you know. And yeah. She'll get kind of upset and, and demanding. Uncle, Uncle Sai, you have nothing on my beard, buddy. My beard is longer than yours, buddy. And I have camo. And this camo jacket over there. I need, ne I'm not going to get it this month, but next month I need to get a camo hoodie. The, the. Camo's expensive. Yeah, it is. Well, also that brand's expensive. It's, um. Real tree. Real, thank you. Real tree. Uh, I have a pair of pants. Well, they don't have to overcharge for it. I know, it's like, gosh. But, like, some of the pants were like $30? $29 something? I know, it's like, what the hell? Yeah, and it's like, it's like one pair of pants is 15 something, or fifteen ninety nine or whatever. Another is 30 I'm like, my God. $10 for a damn baseball cap. Yeah, yeah. it's like, and I, I don't know, you know, I mean, we were driving up to Lebanon the other day. Was it yesterday? Day before yesterday or yesterday? Yesterday. Second. Yeah, the second. We drove up to Lebanon and we stopped at this, uh, well, I call it a, a gas station to get gas. Very small gas station. Yeah. I asked if they had any, had any bandanas or hats and they didn't have any. Oh, well, I think they're fairly a gas station. Though. Because my hair, I mean, I need to get my freaking hair out of my, I know, okay, look, I'm partially bald. <laughs> but look, but look. I tell you to put stuff in it, though, to hold it down, but you don't do it. Yeah. Look, see, the hair actually, when it's... I get the super glue and glue it to your head. <laughs> then it won't move. Yeah, and when I'm driving, I have the window part way or fully down. Now, at this time of year, up here... It's kind of it's abnormally warm right now. Well, I didn't think of that. That's true. Because... Uh, I was, think we're having, like, Indian summer or something. Yeah, because right the year before last, at Halloween, Salwan... It was... Snow. Yeah, three feet of snow dumped in one night. Well, like two days before Halloween, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, oh my god. Like, oh shit. Yeah. Well. Rrr, rrr. You let me wrap your arm off. You don't let go of me. <laughs> yeah. Maggie, be nice now. 
Be a good girl. Okay. Oh, ow, ow. What? She can do with a glow. Yeah. He says, I'll teach you to <laughs> hug me. <laughs> I'll get you. And let me tell you something, people. This, tonight, I drove over to Walmart in Ringe. And I didn't tell my wife that I was going somewhere, so she was You're like, "You're not getting to report the car is stolen." Yeah, so she calls me. Guess what? I both heard the phone and felt, felt it vibrate. And felt it vibrate. But also, that's because I had it on my left side. I can't hear anything out of my right side. Even my residual hearing on my right side is gone. I have to bang inside like the head. Yeah. So, and I got a new keyboard, so my what was it, the O button? I think it was the O the button stuck. stuck and the B had fell off and we put it back on. Yeah, so, so you know, I, I would hit the O button and it would go, Ooh. You have about 15 O's. Yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah, and this is like a 5 or $10 keyboard. I mean, you know, it's fine. It's expensive it's, keyboards, yeah. Yeah. And I got this for like 7 bucks. I just find, tried to find the cheapest one I could find. Because the cats ate the last one. Yeah, they, they they chew on it and then they split it. They, you know, cut and it. And they destroyed it. And I'm like, God. I bet it was socks. Yeah, she's the one who does it, isn't she? Yeah, because John leaves things alone. He knows better. Yeah. He just doesn't mess with stuff. Yeah. He and might bat at it a couple of times, but then he'll just kind of walk away like, yeah. Well. Yeah. And the Amazon order didn't go through, so... Oh well. And we have to go up Monday. This is actually a surgery. Yeah. Ugh. Are we still waiting to hear about what time? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Like after three o'clock or something. Okay, so hopefully it's not at not at seven AM or five AM. Well if it is we'll have to go the night before or something. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have There's enough. There's a hostel, but they only have twin size beds. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. I don't know if I can live with a twin size bed. Yeah, and I I need to be there for my wife. Definitely I need mean, to be can there. Can you imagine how hard a twin size bed is going to be? For and they thing? did, and from the pictures, they didn't look all that comfortable. You know, they look like they'd be hard beds with a thin mattress. Small. Yeah. They need to do better if they're going to have a hostel. My God, I mean. Don't get the cheap shit back for food, you know. San Antonio had a, um, what do they call that, a Ronald McDonald house? Yeah. But they don't have any anything um, like that up there. Where they are. But that's for kids and their fam parents. Well, that's, yeah, but they still, mm. they might let you stay there, depending on how full they are, too. Yeah. So. <sighs> They're usually a pretty good-sized house. No. Yeah. The one in San Antonio, although it was not in a good neighborhood to say the least, they had a fence around it. I mean, they had a security fence and cameras and lights and stuff no around. No running loose in the yard. Yeah, right? yeah, it was like, uh, yeah. yeah um, I wouldn't push my luck with a mean Doberman. Yeah. <laughs> he starts growling at you. You might lose a leg. Yeah. We got this from Maggie tonight, today. She tonight. loves it. Oh, yeah. No, we don't open the jar, but she's put the toy in it, no boy. Oh, yeah, she's like... Let's absorb. We were going, like, all day. We get home, and it's like... So, you know, I go from... I don't know, I have this thing about going from Franco to going to the CRAP dealing with the people in King. Franco to Obama to... Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know... Wombats. What, 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 what is it? You know, look, if it weren't for my wife over here, I would probably be dead right now. Or at least I would, would not be doing too good. It, look, in San Antonio, I went to hospital three, four, five times a year, maybe more. Some, depending on the you year. You haven't been once except for your back, and that. Time yeah. your leg was going crazy. Yeah, and you know, and that wasn't actually even overnight. That was just an ER. I mean, he hasn't been in mental health unit. Yeah, it? you know, in San Antonio, I went to the mental health unit and stayed a week or so. 
two or uh, three times a year. Yeah, sometimes more than that. And you were like their steady patient. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh God, here it comes again. Yeah, and they had, and one of the hospitals had this policy. Well, actually, you know what the policy was? You could not be a visitor. Huh? You could not be, if you were a patient, oh. you could not be a visitor for, uh, you had to wait six months before you could be a visitor for That's somebody weird. else. Yeah, and that was at Methodist. That wasn't at, like, the, the county hospital. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? Yeah. And the county hospital, when I first went to the... At first, I went to count the, the county yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah which, was, which is now called University Hospital. It's changed names several times. It used to be Medical Center Hospital, and now it's University Hospital. Oh, God. Even though it's the same hospital run by the same people. Actually, a friend of mine... In San Antonio. Same bunch of ding bats running the hospital, huh? Yeah. Uh, there's a friend of mine in San Antonio. I won't say her name because. You mean ding bats? Yeah. And she, uh, well, she doesn't work at the hospital. Well, gosh, how do I explain this? I'm drunk right now, so it's kind of. What she volunteers at the hospital? No, she she works for. I don't, I'm not sure exactly who she works for, but she works with the inmates. Oh. But technically, she works at what they call the Brady Green, which is the outpatient what? facility. Brady Green Hospital, which is the outpatient. She was born at the Brady Green when it was an inpatient Regular hospital. Regular hospital. Yeah. But she's she's young. I mean, she's well to me, she's young. I mean. Okay, you know. ancient. Yeah. Old man. <laughs> yeah. Um. We're definitely gen different generations. Also, something else we didn't buy this month was this. How many do you have in this thing? Plenty. This one right here I haven't even opened yet, and it's 200 caps. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So we don't need any of the vitamins. All I bought was chewable vitamin C. Yeah, well, she needs that. No. See, I don't even... I think I'm having allergies. See, I don't even need this. No, I think that's what it is, allergies. Yeah. I don't know where the bottle's at right now. Like, see, I don't even need these two things, but see, I take this, be complex, because me mom has uh, Alzheimer's. Ooh. Yeah, very much so. And this, I just take this, and I, look, I haven't even taken these in a few days. The Wait a minute. Yeah, because the last time... Well, I put all of my stuff in a box and I just dump it in my hand and whoop. See, that's a smart thing to do. And I don't do that. So, that tells you how smart I am. And, um, I oh, have... right, bingo. I haven't even worked on my, um, one of my, I don't even Your know where it is. Yeah, my corn crop pipes. Yeah, you made a mess on the floor the other night with that. This thing is so salty. We're well, supposed to smoke a dot two on it. Yeah. And I mean, what am I gonna do with it once I get it? I don't even smoke tobacco. I mean, you know. But uh, we'll get you some apple scented tobacco or something. And yeah. Smoke it and have a little puff puff. See, I. This is. I'm not gonna show you what it is, but this is a medicine I take. Yes, Maggie. Yeah, oh, I heard that. You don't need any, Maggie. No, you definitely. And so did Sock. She heard it too. That would make you sleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the daytime. Oh. They'd be wide away, wouldn't they? Yeah, I didn't take any for like two or three days, and that's not that's that good. I think part of it is your nerves, you know. My wife is dealing with this a whole lot better than I. Barely. And we have to go up Monday. You know, I mean, I, I keep thinking, I keep, in my mind, it's like, well, what am I going to do Monday? You know, when we go up there Monday, what am I going to, am I going to go and have lunch? I probably, my stomach is probably going to be so turned over. You're so, probably not going to be able to eat without puking. Yeah, so it's like, I'm not saying I'm not going to get hungry, but what's the point of eating if I'm just going to throw it up? And... Oh, and we f we find we went and what did we have lunch or late yeah. or a dinner or whatever? Now, as we were leaving, what did we find? The cafeteria. 
The cafeteria closes at what, 2 o'clock? 2 o'clock. They open like at 6.45 in the morning. I think it's like for the day shift of the hospital. And it's like, oh my. Oh my God. And see, we don't know what time my wife's surgery is. We don't know if she's going to just spend or night or, you know, or just spend an hour or two in recovery or whatever. We don't know. Let me out the same day. Yeah, and I'm like... You know, the odd thing is I can see my wife knitting or crocheting while they do surgery on her. No, shut up. It's like, you know, you watch those TV commercials and the, the, the surgeon is having the guy do stuff on his cell phone while he's doing it brain like surgery. Yeah, and it's like... Uh, I doubt that. But, um, I will say this. I, once my wife actually looked up her surgeon, did, you know, looked up his qualifications and stuff like that, when she looked that stuff up and she told me what some of his qualifications it actually made me feel better because he he actually you know how do you say it in English um, he's highly qualified there you go he's highly qualified so that makes me feel better where did he go to Harvard I think it was? Harvard and he, Yale, one of the two. Yeah, and he he has other like um, uh, hospital and de uh, something deaconess, Beth Israel deaconess, I think, in Boston. Yeah, so the it, residency was. So he's like, I respect him, and, and it's not just you know like when he came it's in not and not a attitudey jerky one of these doctors you want to bump on the head, you know. Yeah, he has he's a good friendly bedside manner, so to speak. He he's a nice guy. Some doctors you'd like to <laughs> bump him. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Knock it off. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to actually get to see him again, but if I do, I want to let him know that I appreciate, deeply, deeply appreciate, I don't know how, how you would say it, his personality, his yeah, attitude. His mentality. His yeah, because like, you know, I mean, I want to tell him, I don't know if I would actually tell him this, but... A friend of mine on Okinawa, her dad was a West Pointer. He was a turd. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, you're nothing like that. You're you you're you just seem like a normal human being. You don't let your I don't know your the qualifi is get in the way of your how you treat people. Yeah, and I'm like I'm not gonna sit here and say everybody that goes to an academy like West Point or whatever is an a hole. Because I'm sure they're not. You know, there was a guy I worked with who had been, he you only know, served in Special Forces for a long time. And he told me once there was this, an officer, you know, because he was an NCO, and most of the guys were NCOs. And there was this officer, and he's just standing there. They parachute in, you know, and they're going through their, they're going to their mission. And, and this guy is just standing there, and he's hearing this, and he's standing there like, What's that? And they're all like, You MF, it's gunfire! They had to knock him to the ground. Oh, God. Yeah, this guy's an officer. Yeah, look, you idiot. Yeah, I'm like, gosh. They're yeah. using you for target practice, moron. Yeah, it's like, get on the ground. Take cover and start firing. <laughs> Let them shoot him. Yeah, it's like, jeez. Idiot. It's like the NCOs need to be the people in command, not the officers. That's why I respect, uh, I have a lot of respect for my dad and people like my dad who started off as NCOs, earned, earned their rank, weren't given their rank. Yeah, I went to college for a few years. Like and, so what? Yeah, and I became an officer, so I'm better than you. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, really? Oh, when you get shot in the ass, don't blame me. <laughs> yeah. Don't blame me, just sorry for you. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, it's like... Okay, now, I want to say something, like, probably what I've been trying to say this video, in this whole video. There are activists up here that I respect. Very few... There are some in Keene, but not many. Not many at all. But there are some... I'm reluctant to mention names because if I mention names, I'm afraid they're going to get a 
attitude. Well, that, that other people are going to get an attitude about them. Like, oh, well, you know, that, well, that crazy Seamus guy, he thinks you're cool, so, you know, we're, we're going to have to, like, watch you, man. Or whatever. But, you know, I, I get feedback from all sorts of people. I take Lucky, our dog, for a walk. And I talk to our neighbors. They see a People see the car stickers, the car uh, bumper stickers on the car. People see what we're, what the clothes we're wearing, you know, like cop block, and they talk to us, or we talk to them, and they're like, yeah, you know, you know, I really like this whole idea about the about the Free State Project, but you know, I I, I don't really care for those people in Keene. I get that a lot. And I also want to say that there are a lot of people that have no idea about the Free State Project. And I'm not going to sit here and say everybody in the Free State Project is great and wonderful, because I'm sure they're not. But, you know, I look at the people in Manchester. I have people have actually moved out of Keene just to get away from all the craziness here. Yeah. You know, one thing uh, that goes on in Manchester... Yeah, uh, one thing that goes on in Manchester that I like is open carry litter pickup. They're not getting in people's faces. They're not being belligerent. They're not harassing people. I understand standing up to the police and saying, do you ha actually have a right to ask me this question? Now, you know, if the police... Uh, okay, the police in our town... <laughs> they're not that... Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna. I don't know about the new one, but the other guy. Yeah, the the chief or pseudo chief. He's been here a long time, I think. Yeah, he doesn't harass people. I'm not gonna give him a hard time. And Keen, would I give a cop a hard time? Maybe, probably. Depends on which one it is, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, if it's a cop. Are you acting like a butthead or not? Yeah, if you act that way, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna just like, yeah, well, here's my ID, man. You know, I, I look, you want to act like an a-hole to me? I'll act like an a-hole right back to you. But if you're respectful to me, I'm gonna be respectful to you. Jeez, how hard is that for people to understand? And it seems like the activists in King don't freaking understand that. You want to attack me? You want to monitor everything, every little thing I say, everything my wife says? Let me tell you, you come to my door, or if we're in team, and you come up to us and you attack my wife, you're going to get a fist in the face. You just assholes just better be glad my uncle ain't still alive. You wouldn't want to mess with him. He'd yeah. mess your ass up, but good. And you want to report this video? Go for it. The thing is, Send me a message and let me know who you are. No, they got to be a chicken shit and hide behind the computer screen. Exactly. Exactly. They don't have guts enough to stand up and say, say it to your face. Exactly. Did you hear my wife? I hope you did. Because you are a bunch of freaking cowards. You're a bunch of chickens. A rooster has more guts than you do. That's pretty freaking sad, isn't it, people? So I moved from España to the United States. Now, let me tell you, things in the United States are not anywhere like they were in Spain under Franco. Things right now, as we speak, are not that bad. They are getting bad. They have gotten worse over time. Who knows when they're going to fall apart completely. Correct. You know. Any day now, I think. But, you know, you, you keen, keen people... I've already lived this. I lived this under Franco. It's not oh, something. Passed out on my computer. <laughs> He's laying on the computer keyboard. Oh, John. John is a mama's boy. Look. But he fell asleep when he yeah. perched out on my computer keyboard. If you can see him right there. Yeah. He was like, uh. -oh. Like, don't move me around. Oh, also, we got a storage shed today. Yippee. Yeah. That means we got to start moving shit out of the basement. Yeah, we got a storage shed today, oh. so we need to call our landlord. And we better start with the heavy stuff. Yeah. 
I mean, there's some things we can move. Some things are going to be a bear. You know, like we have a sofa, we have a desk. Those things. I don't know how the hell we got the sofa in there just to do it without killing ourselves? I know. So. And what's the the storage shed? Is what? How much a month? Fifty-five, fifty. Fifty-nine, I think. Fifty-nine a month. Fifty-four. Fifty-four a month. Fifty-four. Plus deposit. Well, that was just plus deposit. Just, just this month. Yeah. So it'll be fifty-four from now on. Yeah. So. That's bad enough. Yeah. That's what we need. And all we're doing is written like a, a room, essentially. And it's not Five that big. 5 by 15, I think it's that. 5 by 15, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. But it's tall. So. We didn't get any boxes today because, well, let's just say we didn't get any boxes today. Do we have to go any... Oh, you have yeah. to, yeah, so hopefully... Well, I'm not going in bright and early. Yeah, well, hopefully my wife can get some boxes tomorrow. Well, you might be up by then, too. That's true. Um, so I have this, so this, is, this will be my bug-out bag, and my wife can have either, we have two other bags in there. She can ha choose which one she wants. Um... How much was that thing, like $29? Something like that. And it has, I mean, gosh, it has... You better put everything except the kitchen sink in it. And yeah, look. it has pockets and straps and... Loops. Loops it's and... all out on the out front. Yeah. And, oh, you know what we forgot is a, a bulb for this thing. What does it take? I don't know, it's a small... The, the, Special bowl. Well, the Special base. Part, yeah, the base is small. Oh, great. And then you could actually see what I showed you, tried to show you. Well, but or get one like this, but these are Walmarts. Like five or ten dollars. Yeah. Well, the, you had them when they started the college kids last year. Oh yeah. So they might be around somewhere. Might. Yeah. It's just a matter of finding them. Well, at least now we've got a different, a better way to mop the floor easier. Oh, yeah, we have, we can mop the floor better now. Anyway, so... Those damn pads are expensive, though. They're definitely not getting thrown away. Yeah. So... $20 for two of the covers for a shark steam mop. How much? 20 Yeah, right yeah. at it. That was the only box I had. And the only reason we're doing as well as we are is because the Amazon Amazon order didn't go through. People. We don't need no, we don't. crap anyway. So, anyway, people, this video is o almost 40 minutes long. I mean, he's saying get rid of stuff out of here. Yeah. Like, oh, shut up. And to our daughter, happy birthday. We have we a card for you. Card. Yeah, we got you a card, but don't know if it'll get to you in time, but you'll get it. I'm going to say... a little slow. Yeah, we're going to say... The mailman is not fast. Yeah, bye-bye. Avicii Zane. Adios. Adios.